Hi beautiful creatures, thank you for coming back for another video, advice from your higher self. Hopefully this will help guide you through whatever it is coming up in your day, your week, your month, whatever is happening in your life right now. Um, of course if this video doesn't resonate, it could be future advice or it could just not be your video and that's okay. So check out another video or come back next week and uh, let's just jump into it. We have the card of service. So this talks about a woman who... Um, was a stay-at-home mom and dedicated her life to her three children and and thought that she was a failure because she didn't do more um, but then realized that what she actually did was build bonds and relationships that were so beautiful that she was not a failure at all she just chose a different path than most people and it it talks about you know manifestation through service first of all let's throw that out there and then but also if you're not seeing your own value um, the value of what you really have. That is a big message of it. We have the card of snow and silence. So, I think of a snowstorm. I think like the obscurity is like if you're driving in the snow, or if you're looking at the window, you can't really see very far because the snow is just like dark and blowing everywhere. So maybe it's kind of like a tumultuous time right now, like internally, externally, whatever it is you're going through. And I just want to send all of my love right now. Let's let's say that. But I, I do feel like it's a it's a time of really not being able to see very far ahead is kind of what I'm feeling and like trusting um that that you know slow and steady is gonna get you exactly where you need to be and once the snow settles it's just gonna be something really beautiful we have the card family so i really feel like this isn't about any type of family like blood related or maybe ancestral but i'm being drawn to like the moon and all the purple around it so i'm being like psychic family soul family um, if that's something that you've been searching for lately, know that, that it's out there, that that's, that's something you can have too. Um, and I feel like it's a large family too. Like, look at all these butterflies. If that's not something that you do have right now, know that that's in your future. Oh, this is really cute. Spending, spend time with friends. So yeah, right. So we're, we're talking about that soul soul tribe, that soul family. Just moving over, sorry. Um, so they're actually pulling tarot cards. That's fun. So maybe you should have a night where you just like talk about the future with friends and I don't know, just kind of like let loose any walls that you've been holding up that aren't really serving you. Like I feel like we hold on to such silly programming and yeah, it's really programming that like, it's like we're supposed to live this way and this is what we're supposed to do. Grow up, get a job after college and this and that. And it's like, sometimes that just doesn't call to a lot of us. And we need to like really understand what it is that's important to us, our values and let go of anything else that isn't that. Because at the end of the day, it's our life. We need it to be important to us. It needs to, we need to be in service of ourselves. Oh, beautiful. So we have the coyote. Discard 12, reduces to 3. And like, coyotes are such smart animals. And they're very playful, too. So I feel like there is definitely a, um, definitely a message of knowing when work is needed knowing when to take things seriously and get things done and they're like very cooperative um kind of like pack animals as well but also like not taking things too seriously and being able to be playful and have fun still while you're experiencing this snowy period of not being able to see maybe that's with the the friends and family like go out and talk to your friends and family maybe you've you've been feeling kind of isolated like silence is also the word on the snow card, right? Like maybe there has been some sort of silence and, and like this woman is, is around her family here. 
um, a time to reconnect and, and put those things aside. So let's get into the tarot cards. Advice from your higher self. Thank you. Let's get a couple. Oop, that was a lot, but thank you, Rash. Okay. I'm so sorry. It just kind of like blew everywhere. So let's talk about these these cards here. So we have the Emperor. I guess I should move those over. The Three of Cups. The King of Cups. The Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So this isn't the order they fill out in, but I always feel like there's a a reason for the order I put them out because sometimes I'm very meticulous where I'm like oh this is the order it came out and I lay them out as they were um, other times not so much and and I feel like this is kind of an escalation of energy so hmm. I do feel like this is kind of like an internal struggle of how you may be feeling a sense of like you you're very independent and like wanting to celebrate and reconcile with others but there's some sort of this like maybe it's like a fight with family that you had but like either way there's like this stubbornness this like withholding this because like the king of cups is like very like like he's in control of his emotion but he's very withholding like i always find like the kings um as like and it could be like the energy too that we're just reading with the cards, but I always find like with the kings, like the, they're almost like withholding or like stoic is another good word. So maybe not withholding, but this is almost withholding. Um, and then queens are very giving and nurturing, right? Um, but with the eight of swords and the nine of swords, like something that gives you great anxiety, you don't know how to maybe approach the subject. And maybe, okay, so I have two piles of cards that also fell out here. And I want to know maybe who this involves. So I'm going to flip this one card over. And it's the Nine of Pentacles. So I think this has to do with, like, maybe your independence. Um, if if reconnecting or reconciling with this family member. Again, it doesn't have to be, like, because um, it's, like, spending time with friends, right? Like, it could be, like, a, a friend that you always considered as family. Um, someone close to you, this reconciliation. Um, this like I feel like again this cloudy period this snowy period in your your friendship I, I feel like you're worried about losing your independence or the upper hand in a situation but that's not not something you should be worried about in any way I feel like this is again your higher self saying that being the bigger person is more important um let's take a look at these other cards so the four of swords the ten of swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what this is telling me is really take your time and heal. There's no rush here. There's, I don't think there's any rush here. Um, and, and again, it's all on your time, right? So you want to take your time and heal. Make sure you're done with any cycles and when, when like you're putting boundaries, not walls. And the Knight of Pentacles is just kind of a slow moving energy. Um, but, oh, okay. That's beautiful. Um, but I really feel like there's um, a lot of encouragement to sit with these feelings and think about that, however this is resonating for you. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, the Knight, oh, so sorry, a C page actually, of Cups and the High Priestess. So. I feel like this is a warning to not get caught up in force, like not having foresight of a situation and letting your emotions get ahead of you and like reacting poorly because like the page of pages just are really um, young, immature kind of energy, right? And with the cups, like just again, I just feel like there might be like a moment where you like pop off and like regrets something or acting in a way or showing up in a way and I feel like um again you're just being encouraged to just like really consider that because like intuitively I feel like you know this person 
can get under your skin. So you want to be aware of that. And this is just like, again, confirming that you can. I just want to cut the deck. The two of pentacles. Making a conscious choice to go into the situation balance this can be. I think that's really beautiful. So what deck? Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, and I guess that's our card too. So I have the self-realization oracle deck, emotional growth edition. And this card just like did a cartwheel out of the deck. It was really weird. I challenge myself to recognize when my beliefs may be leading me to adapt a black and white concept of what is occurring. I stepped into my highest potential when I choose to see the good and the bad the good and the bad and the bad and the good so that I may align with and receive the good of it. Okay. Let me start over. Cause that was a bit of a tongue twister. Woo. I step into my highest potential when I choose to see the good in the bad and the bad in the good so that I may align and perceive the good available in every situation. I find myself in dis I find myself in despite their existing things. I do not like or want. Okay. Interesting. Um, so what I'm getting from this card, and hopefully you can pick that up better than I did because being dyslexic was really hard to read that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I love, uh, I say this all the time, right? Life's all about lessons and blessings, right? So when you're not receiving a blessing, you're receiving a lesson. And if you're able to open your mind and see at like just like a higher perspective of the lesson in the blessing, and the blessing in the lesson, it's gonna make life a lot easier for you, right? It's like that saying, life's happening for you, not to you. It's, it's we're elevating here, right? We're learning and growing and it's beautiful. It's not anything like no one's trying to shit on your day, um, which is not, yeah, wow. Okay, so I have two, two other little decks here. These, this one, and one card. Here, we'll read this one first. This is the Making Magic deck. Sorry. I guess we're taking the three of them that came out. <coughs> it says self confidence. I'm going to put them in front of the camera. Oh. Self confidence, strong self belief, and a sense of worth. Little luxuries. Gener generates luxurious experiences and surroundings and earth. Ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. Grounding, I feel like, is very important. That was actually the card on top, and I feel like the most important of the three. Um, but, but of course, I felt like I should take them, so I, I hope they resonate with you in whatever way they need to. And lastly, the beautiful Secrets of the Witch. The Witch is Familiar. Witches work well with familiars, animal companions who become a part of their magical family. Pay attention. The witch sends you a spirit animal. Message this day. Straight from her beloved familiar. So whatever animal you see next after this reading, I think has a message for you. So look up what that is. I feel like it'll be really beautiful. That's really interesting. I just cut the deck and there's actually like a little like beaver on this three of pentacles. I think he's like a little beaver or hedgehog. So maybe that resonates with someone. I just wanted to see if I could get an animal on the card. And I see a cat here too. A uh, coyote also. Maybe that's your animal. Maybe that's what the, the real message is. So if you feel drawn to the coyote, definitely check that out. But I love your guts and ghosts. And before I forget, I, uh, <laughs> so when I was in Florida visiting my sister, it was really funny because we, there's like these super cool flea markets, flea markets in Florida, and like all I wanted was um, trinkets and keys, keys for my goddess, and trinkets for the charms that I like. I want to pull in readings, and because um, it's just been growing, and I love it. But um, the the I went in with that intention, and I came out with a jar of buttons also, and it was like the best day ever. I looked like a kid in the candy store just walking around with a jar of buttons, and I probably looked so strange, but here we are. <laughs> that was just my little story, and maybe that means something to some of you. Okay, they're just like falling out. Let me pick these guys up. And I'm gonna grab one more. Oh, we got a couple more. So I just, this is just like spirits, love, like surrounded by your guides right now. They're sending you strength, guidance. I feel like there's going to be a message of love and wisdom coming your way and a direction. So if you're looking for guidance, 
there is going to be, maybe it's with this top here, because this is, again, this courageous strength. Hmm, impurity. So, again, message from spirit. So, maybe it's like talking with your guides. Maybe that's what the message is. So, we have two vowels, a bubble, a heart, and an arrow. Being drawn to pick up this out of the box as well. It's a moon and stars. So, I feel like a past loved one, someone you meant the moon and stars to or vice versa they meant the moon and stars to you but your guides are surrounded by loved ones and a message from someone you think is very wise maybe a little bit emotional but it's going to be um a message of love sending you in the right direction so that's all i have for you i love your guts and gross fits see you later